So let's talk about mathematics. Often math is sort of this thing that people find boring or confusing or difficult, and that's completely fair. I myself am a mathematician and find myself asking when I'm going to need this information in my career and often need to work extra hard just to understand something very tiny. But before we start, let me show you why we care about math and what happens when we don't care about it. This is the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, which ended up collapsing in 1940 due to an architectural change and miscommunication within the construction team. The bridge was built within a valley in which the wind could perfectly resonate with the bridge, thus causing the bridge to wobble, twist, and snap. The Hubble Space Telescope is another example of a math failure. A multi-million dollar mission to take never-before-seen photos of space went sour when the lens of the telescope's camera was placed too far from the mirror. For reference, the mismeasured distance was less than just a hair follicle. So now that we know what math fails can look like and why it's important to communicate, let's talk about how to properly discuss math. Hundreds of years ago, mathematicians were among the wealthiest people in the world, and people sought to solve problems for fame and fortune. Now, we have the internet, so it's much easier just to share our ideas there. So what are some effective ways we can talk about math? I've always been a firm believer that two minds are always better than just one. Take the think-pair-share model, for example. When pondering a certain topic in math, such as limits and limit theory, we can present students with a certain idea, say, what is the limit of a function? For think, we let the students try and solve it on their own. For pair, the students get assigned partners and try to solve it together by comparing answers. Finally, we share the results as a whole class. <laughs> 